sometimes it feels incredible about dreams. Have you ever dreamed of the same place or place repeatedly dreams are not continuous? It's not a terrifying atmosphere. No relevance. But the same strange scenes always appear. My senior and I were drinking in an izakaya that day. When talking about these things. Senior told me a story. The story is like this. My senior's name is Ryasug. He is a good person who takes great care of his younger generations. He said he used to be a kid. I often dream of a place. It was on a beach by the sea. That place is very desolate. And the waves by the sea are the kind. Started calling from far away. Look at it from a distance. A big wave about one more floor high. Very scary. There is a western style building on the beach. It's a two story house. There is a ladder in front of the house. On the ladder is a corridor for rest. And the outside of the building is covered with trees and vines. The weird thing is. The entrance of the house is not installed. The window is not installed either. It looks like an empty hole. The hole looks like a ruin. Then he will always stand in front of that house. He doesn't know when he started to have that dream. But since I dreamed of it for the first time. He often dreams of such a scene. So many frequencies. For a while. Even as soon as I entered the dream. He will feel it right away. The degree of coming again. Senior said. He has a very good friend with him. Called Yang Hui. Yang Hui lives near his house. So they used to play together when they were kids. Play football together. Play games and watch comics together. Until my freshman year of high school. Once Yang Hui was in his room. Because they go to different high schools. So the two of them lay on the ground. Talking about school girls and club activities, etc. Respective campus life. Inadvertently Yang Hui told him. I often have a strange dream recently. Said he always dreams of a seaside. There is a western style house on the beach by the sea. Senior was surprised when he heard it. Seniors just said. He had a similar dream. So they discuss the scene in their dreams with each other. Both of them feel it. Just dreaming of the same scene and house. Senior asked his friend Yang Hui and said. Have you ever been in that house Yang Hui told him. He has been in many times. And what are the furnishings of the house there are a few rooms that are very clear. It's just that Yang Hui told Senior that. But there is something strange about that house. There are rooms on the first and second floors. It can't be opened. Until yesterday. He finally. I entered the unopened room on the first floor. There is a piece of paper lying on the ground inside. It says. At this time, the senior blurted out and said. Don't go to the second floor. Yang Hui looked at his senior in surprise and said. How do you know? Senior said he had been in early. This incredible coincidence. Let them think in addition to. Beyond magic. It also stimulates their desire for adventure and curiosity. They continued to talk about various situations in their dreams. Then he said that in that dream from now on. What are they going to do? At this time Yang Hui proposed to say. Otherwise. If we dream of that dream next time, we each go to the second floor. Take a look at the room. See what we will see. Seniors find it interesting. So I agreed. Don't know what. Since the senior and his friends. After young we told the dream. Seniors rarely dream of that seaside and house. Instead, there are all kinds of nightmares. That's it. Then high school life got busier and busier. 
when he and Yang Hui met. It's not as ordinary as before. But they still talk on the phone. But we never talk to each other again. About that dream. Went to university. They go their separate ways. Living in different environments. Gradually began to alienate each other. But on holidays. Will still receive Yang Hui's card. Once a senior went back to his hometown from Tokyo during the Chinese New Year. Arrived home that evening. Mother told him that. Yang Hui sent him a gift box and a card. Senior lay on the bed looking at the gift box. I thought this guy is really a good brother. Gave away such an expensive thing. Then he got up and opened the card. The contents of the card say. Ryasuk, long time no see. Happy New Year. Then right below. I entered the room on the second floor yesterday. I'm in. See here. Nasty sweat flowed from the top of the senior's head. Hair all over the body. Because a few weeks ago. Seniors have been dreaming of that dream since then. In a dream, he walked up to the second floor of the house. Standing on the edge of the corridor on the second floor. Looking at the room that can't get in from a distance. Suddenly the door slowly opened. A little gap was exposed. He saw an eye staring at him. Then the door slowly closed again. Then he heard a voice saying in his ear. Go into the room. Although he felt a weird atmosphere. Intuition also told him that he shouldn't be aggressive. And instinctively have been vigilant. But in his dream he. Don't know why. Still slowly walked over step by step. It's like being sucked by the room. Every time he stands in front of the door. Put your hand on the doorknob. When ready to open. He will be awakened by the alarm clock. So he never went into that room. That night. Senior dreamed of that scene again. The whole scene is gloomy and gray. There is no light. He walked up to the second floor. The door on the second floor slowly opened again. Then an eye appeared at the door and stared at him. He couldn't see what was inside clearly, but just one eye is very clear. Then that thing. Made a strange chewing sound similar to eating meat. Then a strange liquid flowed out of the room. The senior stared at the door with his eyes closed. Suddenly he found that more and more eyes appeared. All kinds of eyes were staring at him from the crack of the door. He was so scared that his legs were soft. At this moment he was standing on the floor. Sudden rupture. Senior, the whole person fell down. Just when it was about to hit the ground. I woke up. Since then. Senior said he never had that dream again. But. Senior finally said. Not long after he returned to Tokyo from his hometown that time. He received a call from his mother. The mother on the other end of the phone asked him. Do you know where Yang Hui went seniors are confused? Of course I don't know. So he asked his mother what was the situation. Mother told him that. Yang Hui's parents haven't contacted Yang Hui for several days. So Yang Hui's parents went directly to the city where Yang Hui lived. Asked the landlord to enter Yang Hui's rental office with the police. After entering, there was no one in the room. But his phone. Purses and all kinds of things are in the room. There is even half of the food on the table. It looks like the whole person disappeared out of thin air. After the senior listened to what his mother said, inexplicable fear made his whole body hairy but also very worried about Yang Hui. Until today. It's been more than 20 years. Senior, he never saw his friend Yang Hui again. Senior said after taking a sip of wine. Maybe Yang Hui. Was it taken away by that dream?
I had a strange dream a few days ago. The story is like this. In a dream. I walked alone on the way to elementary school. Although it is a country school. But usually in May. There are no insects that you will hear. The whole process was unusually quiet. And there is no one around. Even a grandpa and grandma who work in the field. Didn't even see it. I am the only one walking on the road. I walked alone on the empty road for a while. Suddenly I felt a sight. So I looked back. I saw a small figure in the distance. Very far away. I'm glad to see people, want to walk back. But the figure did his best to escape. No way. I have to be alone. Continue to walk on the road to school. After a while. I look back. I saw the figure in the distance again. He seems to be a little closer than just now. But. Still far enough. When I tried to go back and get close to him. The figure escaped again. That's it. I keep repeating this situation for a while. Walking and then looking back. See a figure. Trying to get close to him. Then he ran away. But every time I look back. That figure will be closer than before. After repeating it a few times. I finally realized. That guy is a clown feel like Ronald McDonald. I've always hated clowns. So I was so scared. I have a brain in my head. If he catches up, he will kill me. But there is an incredible point in the dream. For some reason. Don't know why. I can't run in my dreams. So my footwork can only maintain a stable speed to move towards the school. And I hope not to look back. But my head is always. Involuntarily I will look back and look back. My eyes will look for the figure of the clown. Every time I look back, clowns are approaching. As soon as he turned his head, the clown ran away. I repeat this process. Then slowly getting closer and closer to school. Getting closer. I'm almost at school. Although the clown is approaching little by little. But according to the current state. Before being caught up by the clown. I will be able to arrive at school. So I feel a sense of relief. Just when I was about to get to the school gate. I turned my head again. I thought to myself. This is the last time I look back, right? What I saw when I looked back. Not a clown who ran away right away. Just the opposite. He waved his knife desperately. While raising his legs as much as possible. Ran towards me at an astonishing speed. And the scariest thing is his face. His expression is scary. His expression is not anger. It's not the expression of walking hard. It's an exaggerated smiley face. He looks very happy. It's like. I can finally eat my favorite food. I've endured that expression for a long time. I don't think it's good. Just do your best to go to school. But right in front of the gate. He grabbed my shoulder. I thought, wow, I'm done, I'm going to be killed. Look back. The clown smiled wickedly and said to me, hee hee, this is the second time I caught you. I'll kill you if I catch it three times. I woke up scared after he finished S. When I was 10 years old, there are about two or three weeks. I had a terrible nightmare. And keep repeating. The story is like this. 
because I was young at the time. So I don't have much memory. But listen to my mother. I scream every night. While rolling on the floor. Tugging at the throat. When I wake up in the morning. Sweaty all over. If it's just one night, it's nothing. But he continues every night. This kind of suffering is really terrifying. Then I started to lack sleep. So the weight began to drop. Thin like skin and bones. The complexion becomes very bad. The color of the skin like clay. Although I have seen various doctors and psychics. But they have no idea what caused it. The night continues. My nightmare continues. My parents are also for this reason. And started to lose weight. I even think. Are my parents sicker than me but as mentioned earlier. I will be saved in two or three weeks. But the benefactor who saved me was neither a spiritual power nor a spiritual power. Not a monk either. Priests, priests, etc. Guess what? Who saved me? I don't think you can guess. The correct answer is the hypnotist. Although he is an amateur hypnotist. But my father once had a slight phobia. And he was easily cured. So I also decided to receive his treatment. That Mr. Hypnotist judged me to be the same as my father. Are all people who are easily hinted at. His combat strategy is to take the method of making me forget the nightmare. Strange to say. When I woke up, can still clearly remember the content of the dream. But this situation is limited to a series of nightmares. Mr. Hypnotist asked me to put the content of the dream written on a piece of paper representing the house. It's painful to think back to nightmares. That's a nasty process. The hypnotist put the piece of paper in a box. Put a note on the lid. So it can't be opened. Then hide the box in a place where there is only me. And the place he just knew. I can't make that place specific. But what I want to express is. That's a box that can be easily obtained but a corner that is absolutely impossible to be discovered by others. It's impossible for even parents to find out. Mr. Hypnotist told me, there's nothing to be afraid of, because the nightmare is already trapped in this place. So don't be afraid. As long as you don't open the box by yourself, then there is no problem. It will be fine. The incredible thing is, this is the right thing to do. Because I was freed from the nightmare. You can imagine our whole family at that time. How grateful to Mr. Hypnotist. But the box full of nightmare seeds. Still within my reach. This thing. Has been lingering in a corner of my heart. When I graduated from college. When I returned home. I suddenly remembered. By the way, what about that box because I suddenly remembered, so I'm curious. And I care so much. How terrible was the dream at that time? I know best myself. But I forgot the content. But the emotion of fear and fear do exist. But the fear of childhood. Adults usually look very naive. I am now. How much can I guess what Mr. Hypnotist said at the time what kind of suggestive effect does it have on yourself I also fully understand that kind of magic technique. I thought to myself. I want to expose the fear of the time to the sun. Think of him as a funny joke. So I secretly went to get out the box. I can see that the note on the lid is covered with dust. So I started to pull the edge of the note with my nails want to tear off the note. At this moment, dreams that have been forgotten for more than 10 years, the various scenes of the dream suddenly began to reappear in my mind. I'm in a Japanese style room. 
watching the light shine into the Japanese style sliding door. The sliding door is the kind that opens horizontally and can be pulled. Wooden door glued with white paper. I looked around. Through the sliding door. I can see the shadow of bamboo leaves outside the corridor. Fell down. At this time I found one of the sliding doors. There is a neat square window the size of a window. I saw one there. The face of the Japanese god of Ebisu Fuku. He was smiling at that window. But only the face. Look through the sliding door. There is only a swaying bamboo shadow on his lower body. There is no shadow of the lower body at all. This scene is weird and disgusting. And behind me there are two sliding doors. I know clearly. There are many rooms behind the door. After the sliding door opens. You will see two sliding doors again. The kind of concept that has continued. At this moment I vaguely heard a small voice. Cuckoo's voice. Like the sound of a pigeon. Immediately after. What followed was that I heard it coming from a distance. The sound of sliding doors being opened one after another. And it's getting faster and faster. What's there? Coming towards me with all your strength. At this moment, a man's weird laughter appeared in his ear. It's the kind of voice that feels happy from the bottom of my heart. The voice is getting louder and louder. Getting bigger and bigger. He is getting closer and closer. It's almost on my side. I was so scared that I froze. Never look back. I am sure in my heart that I will never look back. This is the sliding door behind me that was opened. That thing is near my neck. Exhaled his stench. I think. He did it on purpose. Then he whispered to me in his ear. Throw away the box. At this moment I jumped out of that scene in an instant. Come back to your senses. I breathe fast. The heart beats non-stop. So I put the box back in place. Then I hurriedly fled back to my home in Tokyo. Since then, I never thought of opening the box again. So now. Block the nightmare box. Still in my hometown.